Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to talk about another verse that I really like. It's called the verse of mercy, where Allah says, Katab rabbukum ala nafsihi rahma. And Allah has willed upon Himself, He has made it an obligation upon Himself, He has written it down for Himself that He shall be merciful. He will have the law of mercy and grace for himself. This is found in Surah 6, verse number 12. Surah Al-An'am, that's Surah number 6, verse number 12. Part of the verse, where Allah says, كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ And Allah has made for himself a law that he shall govern and he shall have the law of mercy and grace overwhelming his everything that he does. Another verse where he says, وَرَحْمَةِ وَسِيَتْ كُلَّ شيء. And my mercy overwhelms everything. My mercy covers everything. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that we are alive is a mercy of God. If it wasn't for Allah's mercy, I would not have woken up this morning. When I went to sleep last night, when I went to sleep last night, when you went to sleep last night, your soul left your body. You literally died. But this morning, your soul returned. And you're alive. That's a mercy of Allah. The fact that I can talk to you is a mercy of Allah. The fact that I can breathe, I can take a deep breath. My, lung is, my lungs are full of oxygen. My body is feeling good that I've taken a good lung full of breath. It's mercy of Allah. The fact that you can see me, the fact that I can see my surrounding, I can see the world. The fact that you can hear me, the fact that we can do so many amazing things in life, are all indications of Allah's mercy in our life on a daily basis. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm wearing a pair of glasses to be able to see properly. That's okay. I'm not too fast, not complaining. But there are many people who don't have any sight. When I think about, I have sight, makes me feel humble and grateful. You know, every day, we enjoy the immense mercy of Allah through the oxygen that we breathe. Somebody recently was circulating a story that a man during the COVID period was in the hospital and he needed extra oxygen because his lungs couldn't breathe properly. He couldn't take deep breath. So they gave him oxygen. He was in a private hospital in America. When the gentleman had finished his treatment, he recovered. The doctors gave him a bill. In America, you pay for your medical treatment. They gave him a bill of $10,000 or, or something to that nature. He saw the bill and he started crying. The consultant who gave him the bill said, Sir, would you like me to consider discount? Is it too much? Is that why you're crying? The old man said, No, I'm not crying because of the bill. I'm not crying because of the amount that you're charging me. I can pay that, not a problem. But I'm crying because I have lived almost 70 years on this earth. And for the last 70 years, I've been taking oxygen from Allah for free. If Allah was to bill me for the oxygen that I have breathed from the day I was born until today, not only would I be bankrupt, my entire family would be bankrupt, the humanity would be bankrupt. Look at me, I've only taken oxygen from you for a week and you've given me a bill of $10,000. If that's how much fresh oxygen costs, how will I ever be able to pay for the mercy of Allah that enveloped me every second of my life since I was born until today? That's why I'm crying. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot deny the mercy of Allah that follows you every day. The air that you feel on your skin, the sun that you enjoy, the brightness of the day that you so long to see, the lazy night that you, we all like to rest and hide behind the wonderful changes of season, the summer, the winter, the spring, the autumn. These are all manifestations of Allah's mercy. From the same ground, varieties of trees, shrubs, vegetables, plants, flowers, color, fragrance, smell, taste. Coming from the same ground, you plant a different seed, you got a different taste, different look, different feel to plants, 
and all the other things that we enjoy every day. Allah has created from the smallest insect to the biggest of the animals on the face of this earth to make your life and my life more habitable, more conducive to harmony and peace and enjoyment and prosperity. Only for you and I, all of these are mercy of Allah. The fact that I can talk, articulate my thoughts, my complex feelings using sophisticated language or languages for that matter. I can speak to you in different languages and I can translate and different people of different ethnicities can learn each other's languages and can speak and communicate, form relationship, build relationships, sustain them. All of them are mercy of Allah. The fact that we have families, our parents, our spouse, our children, they're all part of the mercy of Allah. Life is nothing but a complete package of mercy. You cannot get away from this fact. It is the truth that you cannot deny. That's why Allah says, And I have written for myself the law of mercy and grace for all my creation. If it wasn't for the mercy and grace of Allah, we won't be here today. Our conversations will not be taking place. You won't be asking, you won't be listening, and you won't be enjoying one another's company, or even listening to what I'm saying right now. Pause for a second and look around you and appreciate the mercy of Allah that you have, that you can enjoy for every second of your life. Allah's mercy doesn't only encompass human, it encompasses the plants, the animals. Sometimes we complain, oh, it hasn't stopped raining. Well, the rain has come down for you, of course, but the plants have been crying out for rain so that they can thrive, so that it can make the world lush green, so that the vegetables can come out, so the flowers can come out, so that the fruits can come out and you can enjoy, you can enjoy the taste and the feel and the smell and the color of it. Yes, plants are crying out for water and that's why it rains, but it's also for you and I because we need rain to be able to Quench our thirst, get the water that is so vital in life. We complain about it being too cold. We complain it being too hot. We often complain. If you pause for a minute and not complain, but appreciate the mercy of Allah that encompasses you on a daily basis, you will see a very different light, a very different light and a very different you. You'll be more positive. You'll be more upbeat. You'll feel hopeful rather than despondent, negative, and gloomy. You would want to enjoy the blessings of Allah because He has made mercy His inherent law. So we also should be merciful to one another because we are His creation. If it's not for the mercy, our spouses would have left us. If it's not for the mercy, our parents would have abandoned us. If it's not for the mercy, we could not have friendship or we could not even live in a neighborhood with other human beings. So not only is mercy a law of nature for Allah, but mercy is an essential tool for our survival. What do we learn from this verse? That no matter what you do, Allah's mercy is always waiting for you. No matter who you are, Allah will not discriminate you with His mercy. No matter whether you're human, or animals, or plant, or fish, you will get Allah's mercy without you asking for it. It's one thing that you get without asking. If you want extra mercy, of course you ask for it. If you want extra favors, you ask for it. And continue, continuing from that particular lesson of Allah being merciful to all of us, we also need to demonstrate mercy to one another. Be more kind and generous. Be more tolerant and respectful. Be more forgiving and embracing. Be more, be more, be more accepting of other people. Be more hospitable to people. Smile often. Meet your relatives, your friends with warmer embrace, hug, shake, greetings. Indication of your mercy. Indication that you have actually understood the concept of mercy as an essential tool for your survival. May Allah give you and I His abundant mercy and may we become merciful to one another. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.